I'll create a base for this part by drawing a circle at 0, 0, and the radius of this circle is 2.13. Now that I have created this color of my solid layer and I want to give it a thickness of 0.25, I'll switch back to my sketch layer, make it my current layer, and now when I sketch it'll be black on there. I want to draw a circle for the next part of this, so I'm going to go to my UCS and change my UCS to right there. Draw another circle, the center of this circle is at 0, 0, and the radius of this circle is 1.19. When I do a press pull on this one, it will be that same color. And the thickness that I'm going to press pull this one is from the dimensions 0.57 minus 0.25. I'm going to enter that directly. Good old minus 0 0.57 space 0 0.25 close parentheses so you can see that came out to be 0.32 so now I've created two parts of this base my sketch layer is the current layer I'm going to change my UCS again to be the center of this circle and then I'll create another circle the center point at 0 0 and the radius of this circle is 0.63. Type in 0.63. I'll, I'll do a press pull on this one. And I'm going to press pull this one 1.05 inches. So what I've done, I've created several sketches on a sketch layer. I've done a press pull of those on, and made those on a solid layer. That's why they're a different color. So I can turn these sketches off if I need to, to make my drawing a little less cluttered. So I've created this part right now. I'm going to switch to the bottom and I'm going to do this cutout on the bottom. Change my UCS to the bottom of this piece right here. Swivel around so you can verify this on the bottom. I am going to draw a circle on here, 0, 0, and the radius of this circle is 0.88 and I'll do a press pull on this one but first and I'll do this press pull pick inside there and I'm going to press pull 0.375 so you can see how that cut that out right there now let me make a hole through the top of that change my UCS to be the center of this circle right there and verify that by spinning that around draw a circle at 0 comma 0 and the radius on this one is 0.375 and then I will and I'll do a press pull and bring that hole all the way through there so now you can see I've got this created just like that so so what we want to do now is cut out this this looks like a square cutout in there so I want to come up here to my UCS zoom up a little bit make my UCS right there at the top type the word plan so I can get this thing a plan view and I'm gonna create a rectangle that I'm gonna use to cut this piece out so there's my rectangle you see the color of it is black because it's on my sketch layer and I will do an extrude of this just bring it down and then I'm gonna do a subtraction just to cut that out pick that one and that one and now you can see I have cut out that section of it and you can see all of my sketches now I could turn those off if I wanted but I'm not completed yet I need to draw that little looks like a little rim around there and I'm gonna do that on the sketch layer I'll change to that I'm gonna change my UCS to right there you can see if I zoom up on that you can see my origin or my XY plane is parallel with the bottom of the object but I want it to be switched 90 degrees so I'm gonna rotate it around the X axis now you can see that my XY plane is parallel to this face right here this is where I'm gonna sketch this little boss on here so the first thing I want to do is create some reference lines I'll create a line right here a line 
and then I'll just use my offset command to offset some lines so that I can find the corners of this little ridge. So I will offset this first line 0.96. Offset that there. Offset again 1.19. And then last, I'm going to offset this center line by 0.78. Now, you can see this represents that ridge that is around there. I need to draw a couple more lines. So I'll draw a line from this intersection, turn my ortho off. And I know this line is going to be 150 degrees, so I'll just type 150. Draw another line from this intersection here, and I'm going to bring this one out. And I'll, I know that one's going to be 150 degrees. And I'll draw one more reference line, say from right here, turn my ortho on to right there. And that reference line is going to be for trimming purposes. So let me change to a 3D wireframe. Now I will trim these lines up right here. Let me erase these right here. I don't need those anymore. And I will also trim between there and there this line and that line. And erase this line. And then draw one line from end point of there to end point of there. So now you can see what I've done. I've created that little ridge that's going to be revolved around this thing. So, but before I can revolve it, I need to change it to a polyline. So I'm going to do P edit and M for multiple and I'm going to select those right there. I'm going to join them. So now that is a polyline. If you see I can select it and it's all one entity. Now I want to revolve that and my axis is going to be right there and right there and I'm going to revolve it 360 degrees. I'll change back to conceptual and now you can see now I left that on the sketch layer so when I revolved it it was a different color. Now all of these items are separate items. This, this item is separate, that's separate. So what I want to do now is I want to join all of these by using the union commands. I'm going to put a union and I'll just put a big old window around it. So now they're all one union. But now I've got this little section here that I need to cut out again. You see I still got this sketch right here. So why don't I just extrude that sketch out. Extrude this guy right here again. Bring it down there and then I will do a subtraction between this item oops I'll do a subtraction between yeah I guess I could do that item and this item okay and the last thing I want to do is I want to pick this and I want to change it to the solid layer So there we have that piece right there. Now that we've completed the solid, we need to create the holes in this. According to our print, it has eight holes that are 0.312 inch diameter on a 3 and 3 8 inch bolt circle. So let me come in here and change my UCS. I'll just make it the center of this circle right here. And I'm going to rotate my XY axis around the X by minus 90 degrees. Okay, so now you can see.